Hi audience. Today we will discuss Why are cabling and harnessing important to the automobile industry? The reason is that the industry recognizes that TMC issues can occur on vehicles with electronic modules interconnected by wiring harnesses. There are two ways for the electromagnetic fields to be coupled into the vehicle electronics. The first way is coupling into the electronic system via printed circuit board tracks or internal wiring. Both act as antennas and convert the field into a conducted voltage or current. The second way of coupling is when the vehicle wiring harness acts as an antenna and conducts the interference into the electronic system. Since the coupling, process is strongly dependent on the frequency of the interference, the wiring harness or the electronic system will not work as efficient antennas for frequencies at or below 20 MHz. This is due to their length, which is relatively short compared to the wavelength of the interference, that is a good antenna has a length equal to a quarter of a wavelength. The wiring harness works as a reasonably efficient antenna between 20 MHz and 200 MHz. Currents in the magnitude of 1 mA could then be caused to flow for each volt per meter of interference field. The vehicle harness attenuates high frequencies above 200 MHz and is therefore no longer a good antenna. But the lengths of the printed circuit board tracks are becoming comparable to the quarter wavelength value and the interference could then be coupled directly into the electronic system. The electronic circuit themselves are fortunately prone to losses at such high frequencies, so no problems generally occur. Disturbances in an automotive circuit are often coupled into the system via the conductors in the harnesses. This coupling effect is called crosstalk. A common type of electromagnetic interference problem is crosstalk. Cables routed close to each other without any shielding will have a capacitive and inductive coupling to each other. If these couplings and their roots of causes are known, the possibility to adapt the design in order to get an electromagnetically cleaner system increases. Automotive harnesses are used to transmit a wide variety of signals as for example low-level control signals high current signals for electrical motors, and high frequent signals for multimedia applications. All conductors are collected to thick bundles that are routed through the vehicle. A potential problem with these harnesses is the presence of crosstalk. There are mainly three sources for crosstalk, and those are, capacitive coupling, inductive coupling, and common impedance coupling. These three coupling paths do not exist by themselves. So the system is often described by a combination. Common impedance coupling occurs when currents from two different circuits flow through a common impedance. In automotive applications, this is a common problem since the chassis is often used as ground return. Capacitive coupling, also known as electric coupling, is a result from the interaction of electric fields between circuits. If two conductors are placed close to each other, there will be a stray capacitance between them. Inductive coupling, also known as magnetic coupling, is a result from the interaction between the magnetic fields of two circuits. A magnetic flux is created when a current flows in a closed circuit. The flux is given by the current in the circuit times the inductance of the circuit. The value of the inductance is depending on the geometry of the circuit and the magnetic properties of the medium that contains the field. A current flow in one circuit may produce a magnetic field in another circuit, and the connection between these two circuits is called the mutual inductance, M. When it comes to cable harnesses, a cable harness must be as flexible as possible, as light as possible, and as cheap as possible why generally single wires or twisted pairs are used rather than shielded or coaxial cables. In addition, Many other compromises have to be done since the mechanical structures of the vehicles will put constraints on the cable routing. The increased number of electrical loads leads to an increased amount of cables in the vehicle. The cables are routed tightly together, and the chassis is often used as a ground return path. Although there are not very many alternatives for cable routing due to spacing and cost. 
the alternatives that are present should be taken into account when designing an electrical system. Solutions to electromagnetic interference problems tend to get more expensive the closer the vehicle is to the market and it is therefore important to try to predict all possible coupling paths for the disturbances. At the same time as the number of electrically driven loads is increasing is the time to market in the automotive industry constantly being shortened. This puts pressure on the automotive engineers who must be able to predict the vehicle's electromagnetic environment without having any full-scale prototypes at hand. We Croydon Services Private Limited will provide you the end-to-end -end wire harness solutions for automotive products. You can reach us with your requirement on info at croydonservice.com or visit us on www.croydonservice.com Like, share and subscribe our channel for such informative videos on electromagnetic solutions. Thank you.